All right, Chad, I think from storms last night that moved into the North Shore and faded before they got South Shore could spark up a few more thunderstorms today. That's much different from what we were expecting the way of possible tropical systems development there that could have sparked up some more storms that never materialized. Look outside looks pretty from this vantage point. Let's go to Doppler radar though, and I'm going to show you those thunderstorms last night came into North Shore. There you go. As we go back 12 hours before the midnight hour, Chief Meteorologist Margaret Orr was tracking these. They moved through Washington and Tangipahoa. St. Tammany parishes made it just into the lake and started to fade. And I think the effects of where those storms faded could mean more storms firing later today. Did see a little bit of fog, maybe a little bit of something trying to develop there in the North Shore, but really nothing much going on there. So we see Doppler radar from the wider view to go to temperatures where we did get the storms. It's a little bit worked over atmosphere, a bit cooler North Shore, lower mid 70s, but never made their way to a little bit cooler air South Shore. It's still very humid, upper 70s, lower 80s, and then combine the humidity. Lakefront and Beerus feels closer to 90. Getting out to get your morning run and workout in, or you're just headed out for a stroll. Upper 70s to lower 80s is what you'll run into here in New Orleans. Rain chances the next couple of days because I think of that leftover front or energy that's there, the heat and humidity could spark more widespread storms. But to the weekend, I think the rain chance is going down kind of similar to what we had for the storms firing up the last couple of days. So here's a look at the bigger picture. I got this kind of effects of a weak front, still very high, kind of tropical humidity way out into the Gulf. But as we look at the bigger picture there with the, still all these effects coming together, there are these rain chances still here where you get a really high risk forecast after we take a look at the Gulf where the National Hurricane Center yesterday, of course, removed any risk from development. So that's some of the best news we could hear for us. We'd want to stay away from those tropical systems too, of course, we know. Doppler radar for the forecast just to show the beginning lines up pretty well. Maybe Boothville, Plaquemines, a couple of mid-morning storms. Afternoon thunderstorms more widespread if they'd persist could pose a flood risk. It's a level two of four that's there from the Weather Prediction Center. Highs upper 80s, lower 90s. Head into the weekend or at least Friday and Saturday, the same thing will go. Couple widespread storms, maybe another flood risk going into Friday, but by Saturday we'll take that flood risk down. So the rain chance is only about a 20, 30% chance. And then an even wider view, taking a look at the Atlantic altogether here too, has some tropical waves way south, a little bit of atmospheric dust, but no overall systems expected in the Atlantic either. That's great news too. So we have a couple of caution days cause if we get a storm and it does linger, could pose that flood risk, but I think any of those will be very localized in nature. Still pretty hot and humid with those highs right around 90.